Hey guys, here we have a hat with teleplay. So let me sh let me let's give it some movement. So this is probably the most boring hat in the world, but let's move it a little here. Let's pretend there's a logo on the front. Okay, so let's move it from the side to the front. Okay, so you know to add some nice movement there. Uh, so all I did there was I was moving it. I turned off the rotating stand and I was moving it manually from the side to the front. Okay, so, you know, pretending that there's something, some kind of interesting logo there. So let me show you what I'm doing here. Um, so first things first, I'm using a blue screen because we have a green, um, we have a green fake moss below the hat. If I were to use the green screen, that wouldn't work because the moss is green. So right here, we're using a blue screen. Um, if you need a blue screen, let me know. Just comment, uh, right below this video. Anyways, so we're lighting the blue screen pretty evenly. We have one, two... Uh, this time three lights lighting the blue screen prop two would work uh, the third lights probably overkill but i did it just in case um and i have one two lights lighting the actual product so one of these is a normal daylight bulb and here is an accent light that's also emitting a white light you can replace it with this one too um Okay, so let's see what happens when I take off one of the two lights that are lighting the product. Okay. Even with one light lighting the actual hat, it still looks pretty good. You know, you can add a second light to give it some more dimension. Um, I think I actually like it with just one light right here. And then let's just play around with the movement if you're recording a video. Okay, and I think it'll look much better if you have an actual good looking hat in there. Um, okay, so the moss I got from Michaels, the rocks I got from Michaels, the moss was like $9, rocks were $5 from Michaels. And then I put it on top of a rotating stand so that it's angled nicely with the camera of the iPad. And see, so yeah, I had to elevate it, elevate it a little so that it's flush with the camera of the iPad, which is right here. Okay, and that's it. So in this scene, all I'm doing is one light lighting the product. And in this case, two lights lighting the blue screen. Uh, sorry, three lights lighting the blue screen, but you can easily get away with two. And so for the actual background, what I did is I went to my favorite site, pixels.com. I searched for forest and then I you I downloaded one of these. I saved it to my device. I blurred it out in the sorry, in the blur photo app. So that way when I go to the your photo video feature, I have a nice like little bokeh effect going on. For the actual foreground, I went to um, I did pine tree close up two, or which one did I do? I believe it was that. Let's see. I did one of these. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not sick. It's a cough I've had for like four weeks. I'm not positive. Don't worry. Okay, that looks pretty interesting, too. And then let's add some movement. So I think, so when you're doing um, like a hat shoot like this, if you're not using a model to with the hat, then I, I think the best route to do a hat scene like this is to place it on a nice 
uh, base like this, which is a little bit decorated to match the theme of the hat. Um, I tried placing the hat on like a on these cubes and making it have a floating effect, but because of the shape of the hat, it just did not look good. Um, because trust me, when you when I put the hat on the cubes and try to make it float in the air, it just kind of looked weird and didn't look natural at all. So I think the best route when you're doing a hat scene like this, just get a base like this, decorate it in any theme you want, and then add, a, add some movement by just rotating the stand manually like this. And you know, if you do it a full rotation, um, the issue is like, you know, you're gonna, the scene is gonna kind of get messed up if you do a full rotation electronically. Uh, so that's why I just did a nice little quarter or like a fifth of a rotation. Hey okay, guys, I'm here if you have any questions.